chanting song and dance grace the secluded Ladi village nestled along the Ugam River in southern Guam. It was here a ceremony was held to mark the 600th Hoffa Day Pledge, a milestone in Guam tourism. Guam Visitors Bureau General Manager Nathan Knight. Just an amazing number, 600 businesses have taken the pledge, uh, businesses and organizations, and so we welcome our newest pledge signers here today and thank you for being part of this 600th pledge signing. Created in 2009, the Hoffa Day Pledge program aims to help businesses promote the island's spirit through language, arts, history and culture. Almost a dozen local businesses took the oath today, including the Valley of the Laddie Adventure Park Jungle Tour. Assistant Marketing and Sales Manager Hanna Kloppenberg said promoting the Chamorro culture is what they aim to do every day. They learn the history about weaving, they learn about um, Yokoi being upriver, they learn our fire making. We make fire out of pago wood and coconut husk and just some smiling friendly faces all around. Another local business, Mac Tech Guam, also made the plunge. Owner David Macapinlac said his business mirrors the hospitable and respectful local culture. We reach out to the Manamco actually because, you know, uh, there's sometimes you need a young nephew to, you know, help you out with your computer problems and stuff. And so uh, it's really cool to see them come in because we're, we try to be very welcoming to them. And we really take our time to listen to their problems so that we can try to help them. During today's ceremony, they also announced the upcoming Valley of the Ladi River Festival, which takes place April 2nd and 3rd. The two-day festival will be filled with vendors and activities along the river park, including kayaking and paddleboarding, provided by another Hoffa Day Pledge participant, Lotus Surf Shop. Tickets are $20 for adults, $10 for children 12 and up, and free for children at Manumku. Tonight said as tourism grows, it continues to promote our local culture. And vice versa, ultimately, our culture will support tourism. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza.